this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Kyle Freaking Gas and the legendary band Trainwreck. We pitch PR ideas, we tag ourselves onto memes, and we show at least four man nipples, if not more. It's all coming up at NSFW. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 35 for August 3rd, 2010. This rad romance is a train wreck. I didn't want to screw up my introduction for this episode of NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the web. And it's, I'm your host, Brian Brushman, joined as always by my inimitable co-host, Mr. Justin Robert Youngles the first. How are you, Professor J.R.Y., sir? Oh my God, I am on cloud nine because one of the greatest musical influences of my life is here with us along with the power, the power, Brian, of one of the best bands 
going today. <laughs> train wreck and Kyle Gass. Uh, they're like, here I don't even with want to wait right now. I was going to oh. tease it, but there they are. It's train wreck. It's real. Everyone thought this was some kind of prank. Look, I'm not going to lie. We've we've pulled some shenanigans in the past, and we made some announcements that turned out to be not so true. But this time we came <laughs> through, and by we I mean you, Justin Roberts Young, and How's we got hold chat realm a freaking KG and train wreck. So excited, chat room. Everyone, give a nice big thank you. A uh, big uh, a digital applause for train wreck. Oh, how did you get us? How did we? I think we promised you the power of the demon hordes of the internet. Actually, how did how did this all come down, Justin? Uh, well, it actually was was one of our after shows. By the way, if you watch us live on twit.tv uh, TV on Tuesdays starting at ten o'clock, we do a little after show. We were talking afterward and. We had kind of, uh, actually, I think it first started when you guys were on the Adam Carolla podcast, which I listened to, and I was like, oh, my God, they'd be great on NSFW. So I, I emailed you guys and wound up talking to somebody, and there was some PR kerfuffle, and I didn't hear back. And then we were like, you want to know what? Let's do this the old-fashioned way, the way that the Internet was built, which is just annoying somebody until they get back to you, which is what we did on Twitter. And uh, I love John. Uh, John, yeah, you got back to me, right? Uh, you guys saw that the avalanche... Of, of Twitter uh, at replies, which by the and way, that's this, like, set up. this defies all rational logic as far as to how to get someone on. So it's like we we played by the rules. We contacted PR. We said, here's who, here's our reach. Here's what we do. Here's why we think we'd be good on the podcast, right? And then that clearly didn't work. We clearly got a no. So instead, we gathered like a thousand of our closest friends, and we all just stood in Twitter saying, train wreck, <laughs> train wreck, <laughs> train wreck. <laughs> Yeah. And they are. Yeah. Eventually, like, shut up. Whatever. We'll come on your retarded podcast. <laughs> well, it's a career highlight for us. And it did work. <laughs> now, one of the things that we promised right at the outset is we noticed that that you guys um, uh, don't have nearly the number of Twitter followers that you truly, truly deserve. So first and foremost, this goes not only for anybody who's listening or live. You notice that we don't charge a cover charge here at NSFW because we don't usually have rock stars on the show. Right? No. So we're going to no, try no, no. something a little bit different. This is our first ever NSFW cover charge that you must pay if you intend to join us for the rest of the podcast. Gentlemen, would you hook us up with the train wreck Twitter, please? That's me asking you, what, what's the Twitter account? <laughs> At train wreck rock. Train wreck rock. It's a very cheap, very simple cover charge. All you got to do is go to train wreck rock on Twitter, twitter.com slash train wreck rock. I'm writing it out right now so I can track your progress, America. And all of you guys have to follow train wreck rock in order to listen to the rest of the podcast that goes for you at home. I don't care if you're driving a car, just text while you're driving. It'll be pull, fine. Yeah, Nothing yeah, will happen. Pull over and, and, and make sure, and, and even if you're going full speed. Just pull right to the left onto the shoulder of the highway and immediately follow or else you really are the worst person on the planet. Uh, Brian, real quick, uh, we can just bring up Trainwreck. Let's just go for people who are watching either on the video or are watching live. Just uh, the introductions. Everybody knows who everybody is. Yes, please. Uh, so there we go. Uh, on, on the far left, Nate, right? Yeah. Nate, Nate the drummer. Nate, uh, John uh, yeah. is, is there. Uh, Jason who uh, many uh, might also remember as, as Lee from uh, Tenacious D. That's right. And, of course, the immortal Kyle Gass, uh, one half of, of Tenacious D. Never heard uh, of him. Rage Cage. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, uh, and I uh, look. We, we, all right, before before we get into the interview, because we're very excited about the stuff we want to pitch to you, because we got ideas. We didn't just sit sit back and be like, "Hey, it'll be like having them in our living room, and we'll just chit chat." No, we got no. important business to do. And so, before we get to that, though, we have other important business, such as Mr. Justin Robert Young. Well, Brian, uh, you know, we we got a few things that we want to go over here. Now, now train wreck here. Here's the deal with this show. We we go through a lot of viral videos, a lot of memes and stuff. People that uh, they like to busy themselves on the internet with these kinds of trends. Well, we've taken it upon ourselves to sort of police it a little bit. And this first segment that we're gonna do is called "You Stop That, You Stop That Right Now," where we're gonna find two videos <laughs> of people doing something on the internet 
you know, not very well. I, I'd be I'd be really uh, charitable if I didn't say it was uh, completely balls out awful. Well, well but the, uh, that, that's the thing, though. It's like on the Internet, we have this weird thing where we tend to encourage things that are maybe not the brightest idea in the world. And so we're going to give you guys a choice. Now, we're going to play along as well. This will be a, a triumvirate, and we shall elect our, our decision upon the masses, which is how triumvirates work in my imagination. Yeah. But you guys tell us which of the following just needs to stop. And this first well, one... Hey, hey, um, basically, here's, here's the deal. It's kind of like the, the old thing where it's like, oh, okay, like you, Hitler, and Stalin are all in the same room and you have a gun with one bullet. That's what we're going to be doing now. So we, we, we're going to all have to decide on one of these people for which we will direct everybody to let them know that they just need to stop. Right. And for right first, now. Yeah, first up on the chopping block with the, with the target on his face, you're going to take a look at a guy who calls himself the, Sam, the sumo rapper. Santa Bull, the mother. Rap sumo, you too my space. You know what I'm saying? Nigga say said it on begin I sit. You know. Yeah, dumb sh I might let dog joker say Jesus peace around my neck and that protect me from my haters who be hating. Donkey rope, call me anything but bro. Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still got the stacks on deck. Oh, oh man, you know oh, that. That's just how it go. What my little dog there was. White man out fuck. White man out. You look, you look like he had a, a case of the front butt. I don't know if you guys saw. <laughs> Did you catch the front butt? Oh no, that 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 is a full scale five alarm front butt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's uh that's uh the sumo rapper. We also have um <clears throat> uh the belly dancer. Uh, I guess Tammy the Wild Two Live. Now this is somebody who both of these are people who intentionally put their videos out on the internet. They're trying to make it big. Which one needs to, in the parlance of KG, let the dream die? So let's take a look here. Having a lot of fun. Remember to skip halfway through this. Yeah, this is halfway through this. Okay, skip a little more. <laughs> Keep skipping. How far do you want me to skip? Yeah, well, just skip right until there. she's up. There. there we go. By the way, for viewers who are listening, this is a belly dancer who has a flag put up in what looks like her living room that says, Surrender the Booty. She appears to be dressed as a pirate. Here's a little belly dance. And is going to rock your world with some belly... Well, first of all, some fine sword moves. <laughs> No, no, see, Brian, that might look like sword moves, but it's belly dance. <laughs> no, it has to be belly dancing because that's what it says in the description. Is this belly dancing, sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah <laughs> this may be the most awkwardly <laughs> slow belly. I don't Swords know. are real. <laughs> slow turn, Bryce. You look at that. Let her know that she does have a full belly. It doesn't like stop anywhere <laughs> in the back. This is some uh, some damn fine belly dancing, and uh, <laughs> if for those of you who aren't watching, if you can imagine somebody who um, I don't know, like a lethargic uh, Alzheimer patient who's just got some sores. <laughs> and now look, like that's like a spiral. If you looked up uh, from the top. Oh, here we go. Here's a little belly dance. Just get a little Axel Rose serpentine action going. <laughs> All right, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Gentlemen, <laughs> let us put it to a vote. Wow. Uh, uh, I, don't know. I call to order. What, what's that, KG? Stop. Say it again. Stop. Yeah, please stop the belly dancer. And then uh, please continue to the sumo rapper. Yeah. yeah. Sumo that, rapper. I tell you, can we get all of you guys a thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, thumbs up, uh, we'll say for the sumo rapper. Sumo rapper, thumbs up or th thumbs down. Keep going. They say keep I mean, rocking all four with thumbs, okay. and I'll go. I'll and, go. I'll give a thumb on that. Uh, and 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 what about the uh, the the belly dancer? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Everyone says. I think it's pretty clear. Do you know why? I think it has to do with the confidence of the sumo wrestler guy. He's owning yeah. it. He's owning one hundred percent of his experience. And he's got a hook. The guy's got a hook. He's really fat. Yeah. <laughs> he's got front butt. He's got to be a front butt he's with amazing nuts. man boobs. He's got nuggets. Here's the thing: <laughs> the rapping needs to improve. <laughs> right? No, he needs some work on the rap. I don't think sure. so. Yeah. I think he's got a style. That's kind of all. Yeah. Yeah. I love the fact that John's like, no, I think his rapping is pretty spot on. I, I, I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> Although, well, and, and just so everybody who's listening on the audio, uh, the audio version of this, uh, he's not fat. Like regular fat, like he's like Stay Puft Marshmallow Man fat. Like he just has segments of his body that cannot go out further. Well, like, see, that's I'm not gonna hold is. that against him. I mean, it's like uh, that. That's all to the good, you know. It's like if you own it and you get up there and you do your thing, then it's like 100. percent That's full of win, as far as I'm concerned. Especially when you got these nuggets. 
You have the courage to go without a shirt when you look like that, and I think that's pretty. That's pretty courageous. When you got the, uh, uh, yeah, dude, uh, I'm I'm down. I would encourage him if I may offer a little bit of 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 uh, you know. There's a lot of sumo rappers out there, but there's no <laughs> MC front butt. Just putting it out there. You there be, we go. You maybe so that's maybe what it needs. He needs a little twist of the MC front butt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there we go. That's a little spit shine that we can offer to him. So, uh, unfortunately, that means that for our pirate belly dancer, sweetheart, you need to stop that. You stop that right now. <laughs> and indeed, she surrendered the booty. All right, so uh, we, got, we got one other bit of business before we move on, right? You actually tried to play along with an internet meme. Hold on. We got to cut right over. We got <laughs> <laughs> We're just joining us now. We have, uh, I believe, the press agent for uh, for the sumo the sumo rapper, uh, Mr. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That kid has potential, and he is going places. He does not need a shirt to show <laughs> off his rapping skills. <laughs> and any time he wants to open for the wreck, I'm saying you bring it on. <laughs> Do you hear that? We got him his first gig. Look at that. <laughs> By the way, I'm, oh wait, wait, there we go. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's, Brian, for God's sake, don't you dare switch away from Kyle Cash. I didn't nipple. mean to. I thought he was done. He went up and he went down. I thought it was over. Uh, by the way, that means we are now two for two on celebrity nip slips because uh, because Greg Grumberg also showed us his nipples on NSFW. Who else did you get? Uh, Greg Grumberg, <laughs> Grunny from from here. Grunny Lewis. <laughs> Greg That's got it. on me, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity nips. Celebrity man nips. That's going to be our new bit. Although I will tell you, you have set the new record because we are less than 10 minutes into the show and we already have man boob, which is more than we ever could have hoped for. All right, Justin, oh. where do we got to go to now? All right, I'll tell you, I have no idea where we can go after that. But, <laughs> Just uh, say goodnight. We're going to try. We're going to try. All right. So the other element that we wanted to bring uh, to this very show is that uh, you know, a lot of memes go by, but none of them have our stink on it. And we really feel like that's got to stop. So we have another segment today, which is going to be called, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Me that's too. You know, Me it's a too. New one. Oh, it's going to be called Me Too, guys. That's and right. here's Not the deal. Yeah, uh, you, you want to explain the backstory because I do. I do just want to go straight to the the audit. I don't know. We should play a little bit of the of the original. Sure. All right. Well, here, uh, uh, train wreck. Have you have you seen the the bed intruder uh, uh, YouTube meme at all? Have you guys seen this? Uh, does he see uh, two rainbows? No. Uh, okay. Right, yeah. On. Well, no. We have, we have seen two rainbows. This is actually the same guys who did the auto tune version of of the two rainbows. Got a hold of this clip as well. But uh, Brian, uh, do, do you have, uh, what, what do you have ready to go? Yeah, well, I tell you what I have ready to go is we can actually take a look at a little bit of the original clip, the thing that started it all, because it's important that, that for those of you who don't follow up to date the moment by moment on the internets, uh, we, this was what was of note uh, just a few days ago, was basically a rather colorful description of somebody who was a victim of an, of, of an attack. Oh, my God. Either you was a crackhead or you was high, you wanted some more dope. You did it for something, you know what I'm saying? It just ain't because I'm pretty. I know that. Dodson's brother says he got a good look at the attacker's face. Now, he was about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, coffee complexion. He had a low cut like a Caesar with some little waves in his head. Clean cut, very smooth face. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. Are you serious, my boy? You you left all your evidence. I got your t-shirt. I got your scent. I know how you look. I got you. I know what I know what shoe size you wear, my boy, so you can run and hide or do whatever you want to. The important thing to, but is that those LP five folks over at Auto-Tune the News decided to pump it up a little bit and gave us this little gem right here. Obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so you need to hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, because they're raping everybody out here. You don't have to come and confess, we're looking for you, we go find you, we go find you, so you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that, oh boy, oh, oh, oh boy, we got your t 
All right, so that's, uh, by the way, if you want to check that out, those are from the folks. It's Show Mo, Mo Yo Ho. Uh, Just search, search auto tune the news. Yeah, They're search auto tune rapist is uh, strangely enough what'll get that to you. But here's the thing we're not smart enough to leave what to let well enough alone because no, uh, they suggest at the end of that video that other people should record their own covers, right? That's what got this idea in your head, Justin? Indeed, indeed. So everybody, uh, you know, all the musically inclined, they went out and they did their own. You know, bass guitar, they had a sitar version, a dude did like an 8-pit Nintendo kind of sound to it. But I think, you know, hey, I don't play a musical instrument. I want to be on the internet. How about I take, uh, follow in the footsteps of another man who had a similar problem and didn't let it stop him? Yes, your friend and mine, William Shatner. So I recorded my own William Shatner version of, uh, of that song. Which uh, I, I guess we can we can play right we take here. Right here, there you go. This is what you do when you have no musical talent. You uh, yes, you record this. <sighs> well, obviously there's a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows, snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So you better hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids. <laughs> Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. And hide your husbands. Cause they raping everybody out here. You don't have to call and confess. We're looking for you. We're gonna find you. We're gonna find you. And you can run and tell that. Homeboy. Homeboy. Home, home, homeboy. We got your t-shirt. You done left fingerprints. You are so dumb. For real. Man got away, leaving behind evidence. And I got attacked by some idiot in the projects. So dumb. So dumb. So dumb. He's climbing in your windows, snatching your people up, trying to rape them. Hide your kid, hide your wife, and hide your husband. Still raping everybody out here. You don't have to call and confess. We're, we're looking for you. We're going to find you. We're going to find you. And you can run and tell that, homeboy, home, home, homeboy. Uh, by the way, there's some ch confusing in the chat room. This is not the part where we where we actually say thumbs up or thumbs down on you stopping that. This is they got the videos mixed up on that. But then, but dude, who cares? Trainwreck gives you the thumbs up. That's all that matters. <laughs> they give you double thumbs up. Well, well, there we go. There we go. So this is again just a crass attempt. To get any little bit of that shooting uh, comet that is the 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 bed intruder meme into Camp NSFW, so uh, so please go ahead check that out right. on YouTube. Again, talking about uh, riding shooting comets, uh, let's talk about train wreck. Listen, there's a there, you guys have a problem. Let me just get out there and say it. Put put it right out there. Uh, and Justin, you want to explain what that problem is? <laughs> <laughs> sure, Brian. I'd love to. Uh, all right, so you guys are going out on this big tour, and we wanted to do, uh, you know, you guys a solid and sort of harness our audience to make sure that you don't go out there naked. You are covered from head to toe in PR strategies and possible tour uh, poster cities or tour city posters maybe also as well. Uh, so here we go. We, we, we spent the entire last couple days you harnessing our audience to make sure that when you guys hit the road, no matter where it is, you are set to maximize your opportunity outside of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, on the road, rocking faces off. Now, now specifically, what does that mean? That means we're going to, we're, basically <laughs> what we want to do, we're pitching ourselves as your new PR agents, all right? Look, we think we got some ideas that may work out for you guys. We got some some tour plans. We got some posters we want to show you, just some comps that we just threw up here. You guys just give us, you know, we got lots of ideas. So you just give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. We're in, we're out. Good idea, bad idea. Why don't we start off with some of the pitches that our very own John Vogel put together for us, Justin? Sure. Uh, I, I was saying that with the intention that you would have that randomly loaded and would be able to take us through these. <laughs> 
Love to see it. <laughs> All right, Justin, what do you got? Yeah. Do you have it loaded? No, I don't have it loaded. Oh, did you? do we have an order for this? I didn't think we had any kind of order. I thought we were just going to go willy-nilly in either, any direction. Yes, I, and you have the... Power to do that. Okay, you well, show the pictures. Oh, but yeah, but okay, all right, all right, all right. Look, like, look, like, look. Like, this is uh, let, let's talk, let's talk strategy. Oh, here. yeah, okay, no, you want to do the PR stunts? That's what poster. I was saying. Yes. No, you have to say that. Okay, not, I'm sorry. Not just, I'm hey, sorry, let's boss. Let's go through the John Vogel stuff. All right, you? yes, no, that's where. I, okay, listen, uh, Justin, why don't you take us through the first one? Do you have it loaded? Yes, I do now. Thank goodness, because otherwise right. I had no idea. So here we go, uh, guys. Listen. We got a few public relations stunts, all right? You know, you can call it whatever you want, but just attention getters. You just give us yes or no on them. Okay. Uh, number one, how about this? The uh, You go out to Ireland, all right? Let's say it takes you over to the Emerald Isle. You know, public nudity at the Blarney Castle kind of been done. Most people get a kiss from it for good luck. But who gets head from it? Train wreck. That's who. Yes or no? We're talking. We're talking international headlines. <laughs> there, uh, we had a middle one from John. Wait, John, Nate. give us a middle. And yes, from KG. And and <laughs> Nate has no idea what Nate, it might be. Nate just shows the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, listen. You're not in love with it? That's totally cool. Not in love? That's fine. <laughs> but you know what? We really only need one of them to do it, and the whole band gets the glory. That's all that really hey, matters, Brian, right? Right. Him, we're not going to push him into something that they're not totally into. All right. Okay. All right. We got all other right. ideas. You got to do everything. All right. Go. Here we go. Next one. To connect with a Detroit crowd, you change your name to Car Wreck for a day. See, maybe a little, uh, little synergy with America's uh, America's auto manufacturing city. The name change is accomplished with an impromptu car wreck right outside of GM headquarters, naked. That's the twist. The M Night Shyamalan twist. Mm. See, now this one, John, totally thumbs up on. Oh, uh, we get a thumbs down from KG. <laughs> and Nate, still undecided. <laughs> and Lee. Uh, Darryl, or, yeah, uh, Jason. Oh, me, Jason. And, uh, and Trent, right? I'm sorry, down. I spent too much time, Jason. I spent too much time thinking of you as Lee. It's very difficult for me to detach that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Good. I know you get that. All right. We got mixed reviews. Again, Justin, mixed reviews on this one. We're sort of fine, sideways. One of the other. I'll yeah. tell you what. We can pitch. We just keep pitching. Okay. Uh, all right. In, uh, in Anchorage, Alaska, uh, KG, you go streaking, and the combined heat of your naked body and rock, and listen, we can actually pad this with space heaters, melts the snow and creates a pond for dolphins in Anchorage. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. Double thumbs up Finally. from KG. Finally. Yes. Oh, yeah, right. man. There oh. we go. Jason <laughs> says yes. We're doing for the geniuses. first time. You need your own TV show, is what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a win. That's a win. Okay, look, that's one in the bank. But look, we got to have a safety because you never know. May turns out there's environmental concerns with trying to actually get dolphins up in Anchorage, Alaska for some crazy reason. So just in case, a couple more ideas we want to throw your way. Justin, what do you got? All right, here we go. This one's a short one. Naked dudes in Atlanta. Just saying. A lot Naked of thought on this. <laughs> that's, that's the whole that's idea. It. That's the That's whole it. Wait a minute. Every one of your pitches involve nakedness. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. Hot Lanta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Wait, oh, there we go! Yeah! Oh, my God. Uh, I was looking close there for a second. Because <laughs> you're right. Naked right. cells. We got now, now, now one more, and I don't believe this one has any naked any, any male nudity. So no one's gonna have to show their junk for this right. one. Right. Uh, but it, it's gonna take you to the far flung and dangerous region of North Korea. All right, here's the deal. It's gonna involve you guys kidnapping Justin Bieber. You take him to North Korea, where he has to sing and dance in a bird cage. Then train wreck takes the stage. Oh, wait, sorry. No, I didn't read this part. It also says, did you have to be naked for this? <laughs> uh, and, and you rock the hell out of North Korea. Yes or no? North Korea. Oh, my gosh. Our first universal thumbs down. Uh, I, I, I honestly right. don't know which did it, whether it was the Justin Bieber or the North Korea. <laughs> it was North Korea for me. Okay. Yeah. It just doesn't sound like a fun place.
Yeah. I'm pretty sure we'd all end up in a very primitive jail. See? Yeah. But, like, what if it'd be one of those, like, 80s movies kind of things where it would only take one rocking of a certain magnitude to completely change the culture of the country? And you guys could be that push. Basically, like Footloose of North Korea. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You guys could be Footloose. <laughs> I, we're starting to, I don't know, people are reevaluating now. We got double thumbs from KG. See, I was yeah, thinking uh, more of, of Rocky IV. This would be like, like Rocky going and taking on the Russian. And at first, everyone's like, boo, America. But then when they see the heart of training, at first, they'd be all like, we love Justin Bieber. We love Justin Bieber. But then when they hear the rock, the soulful rock, of train wreck, they just started to kind of come around. And before, you know, at first it starts with a couple of toe tappings, and then pretty soon, maybe maybe like a an accidental clap when nobody's looking. And then before you know it, there's sort of this rhythm, and then the stomping begins, and then all of a sudden they're naked, like the crowd's actually naked, like they <laughs> caught the vibe of being naked. And all of a sudden you look out, and there's thirty thousand naked North Koreans rocking the house, and they they kick out, they they deport Justin Bieber because it's all about the train wreck. That's the way I saw it. I think you might need to pitch that to Frank Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's far from over. Exactly. You know, he may be down, but it is, in fact, far from it's over. It's need of Justin Bieber to write his memoirs. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm going to call this one. It's got to be Anchorage, Alaska, right? That's, that's the idea that uh, that's the best out of this whole thing? Yeah, I mean, I, I would leave it up to the boys, but, uh, yeah, it seems like easily. I mean, all we got to do is, you know, obviously it involves some full frontal. But we can we can we can bust some dolphins in, and this can be a real scene. Full frontal dolphins. That's all we're asking for. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to give you some full frontal right now. What do you say about that? <laughs> Hell's yeah! Are you kidding what me? You want, is that what you want? You want some full frontal? <laughs> yes, we do. Are you? Are you <laughs> is this a joke? We'll get this podcast started. <laughs> you think you have your high tech over there? You give you something to scream about. I'm going in. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> by the way, I've never been more you guys convinced. All talk from the safety of your little computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost uh, internet chicken. For the record, you did. You did. You, you, and Cage's balls had a game of internet chicken, and, and Cage's you balls won. Balls Cage's balls won the game of chicken. <laughs> for for the record, that's NSFW show zero. Cage balls won. That's just in case you are wondering what the score was right now. Oh, I guess two uh, by its very no, nature. Two, yeah, I know, one for each. All right, now, now, by the way, about the North Korean thing, well, let's just table that because we do have a poster that may want to sway you guys on whether or not you want to head, you know, down North Korea way. In fact, Brian, you, you want to get to some of the posters here now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I remember what I suggested. Whichever one you want me to show, go ahead and cut and paste the URL into that document so I can know in order which ones you want because uh, our see, ESP that was for the other bit that we had. mighty, but not so mighty for that. So... Uh, I don't know if you're cutting it over right now or if there's one you yeah, want me to check no, out. Go right now. Phil. Phil, Phil, Phil. I tell you what I'll do is I'm gonna cut right to uh I'm gonna cut right to just a random one. There's a few of these that Justin has labeled as awesome. And so for that, I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these randomly. Uh, a lot of these look like they promote our show, which is not what we want for you guys. Let me give you one of these right here. There it goes. Some of you guys know that uh, 2012. So listen, right? What's the biggest uh, you wanna tie your tour? into the biggest events, right? Right, you feel me? Sure. Yeah, and yeah. what's bigger than the end of the world, gentlemen? Not a whole lot. <laughs> Nothing, at least not after the world ends. So that's why we suggest you guys put together your very own inevitable apocalypse Eve show right before 2012. And uh, here we go, we got a photo of, we, got, we mocked up the poster for you right here. Get your mind blown before the inevitable apocalypse. New Year's Eve 2012 train wreck in Iceland. That's, that's wow. amazing. Is that a yes? Hey. That's a maybe? That's a... That's close enough. That's close enough for us. As long as they're digging it. So, uh... Is it... Did they... <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that was a sketch. Yeah, great work, guys. Incredible. This is, and, and you notice it looks like a train here, right? You feel me? See? <laughs> just, yeah. some, just some stuff we came up with. All right, what else we got, Justin? You got another suggestion? Uh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you go check where we're looking? <laughs> uh, well, I'm looking at it right now. Okay, there we go. I got it right here. I'm going to open this one up. Uh, okay, this one is, uh, this one's a very specific, random, uh, do any of you guys play computer games? Do any of you guys play video games? 
Mm. KG hey. plays video golf. That's all I know. And, that, and I only know that because there's a song that says so. Uh, the... Uh, <laughs> The uh, uh, Okay, well, this is very specific for computer game nerds. So if you're looking to make money on the video game demographic, uh, City Set 17 is a fictitious city in a video game that came out a decade ago. Uh, do you want to do a show in City 17, gentlemen? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely a negatory. No, that's, that's going to be one of those... Yeah, no, that's that's bogus. Sorry. I'm going to blame not so much the person who made this because he couldn't be helped. He just thought it was a funny idea. I'm going to blame Justin for spoon-feeding this I idea. thought I thought that was like a communist Russia thing. I had no idea that it was a video game. See, this that's is like, why I'm on the show. You know, if, I, if I were doing the sell on it, I wouldn't have just said that. I would have said, hey, look, it's like a communist Russia thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, KG was trying to say something. You were rudely talking over him. What was that, KG? Oh. No, oh, I, I was wondering if that poster was marked awesome. Uh, you know what? It was, it was spoon-fed, handed over to me directly from Justin, so I assumed it was awesome. It was implied that it was awesome. Turns out it was about as awesome as, uh, as anything else on this show, which is to say <laughs> not very awesome at all. All right, so uh, what do we got this? Oh, this is great. This is great. You know what's big right now, gentlemen? Uh, no. Zombies. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, I like where you're going with this. Right? You feel me? So yeah, yeah. here's the thing, right? What would be better than doing a show live? Doing a show live for zombies. No, no. <laughs> Even bigger, bigger, think guys. Bigger. You got to think, think bigger. bigger. You doing think a show dead. That's exactly yeah! right. And that's where the money's at. Think about it. Zombies are huge. There's never been an actual undead rock band, and you guys can oh. be the first. Yeah. Right? Oh, God. Uh -huh. The Back from the Dead reunion tour? Come on. This would be huge. What do you say? What do you say? You, you like, uh, okay, look, already. <laughs> already, KG is giving it the two thumbs up. Correct, <laughs> the, the, correct the mundo. Awesome. All right, so let me see. I tell you what, why don't we take a break from some of the pitches and actually ask some questions? Can we do that, Justin? That's kind of unconventional for us. It's rock and roll, whatever you want. All right, real quick, and I, and I apologize for being, you know, doing what everyone else does and, you know, asking you your opinion on things and actually listening to it. Um, how, how the heck did the whole train wreck experiment come to be? Like, I know, uh, obviously, most of us are familiar with KG and, 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 by association, uh, Jason slash Lee, uh, but, but uh, what, what, is, what is your story? How did everything happen? Well, how did it happen? Uh, there was just too much rock in me. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get it out. I needed another avenue and I hooked up with these guys. So I like the way you make it sound like, like you just got to ejaculate. You're just like, oh, man, I got too much rock in me. I got to go. And you go <laughs> trolling, looking for musicians. You're like, hey, man, you want to rock? <laughs> Is that what it was like? It was like, yeah. It was like not being able to have an orgasm. <laughs> and, and then steadily jizzing for seven to eight years. Yeah. <laughs> and so, how did you guys know each other? See, though? now like, that that should actually be like your compilation record. You know, once you guys lay down too many cuts, and people need to get the you know the box set. Steadily jizzing for however many years you've been you know metaphorically coming. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, so, so did, uh, did any of you guys meet each other through the band, or did you all know each other beforehand? Oh, all right, tell them the story. Well, this yeah. guy was chasing some trow in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> we went there for a gig, but we said, set us up with some players, because we need a few more bandmates to make this show rock. We got set up with not even these guys, some friends of these guys. No kidding? <laughs> Is this the real and story? These guys were kind of tailing around like, oh, it's the Tenacious D dudes. Uh, what's going on over there? <laughs> and we're like, uh, hey, what's going on with you guys? And they're like, well, we've been thinking about moving to L.A., you know? We kind of want to rock. We're like, well, we live in L.A., so if you move there, we'll let you rock with us. <laughs> and they moved there like two weeks later. Awesome. Awesome. That's I, awesome. Now, now you guys, uh, it says here on the Wikipedia that your first tour was with uh, Vita Blue. Yeah, that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, uh, that's, that's so, I actually, I actually saw fish. you guys on that tour with Wait. Vita Blue at, at the Electric Factory in Philadelphia. Wait, you saw them? You saw that yeah. show? Did yeah, you? I did. 
Did you know that you saw them or you went to like- Yes, no, of course. I was obsessed with the Nation's D. Well, well I mean, the, the way you phrased it was like, oh, well, I noticed you were on this date and that's where I was, so I must have well, seen you. Well, because I don't want to just slobber all over them. <laughs> but no, and I didn't know that that was their first tour. I just thought that that was a subsequent tour that they had, had, had been on. Yeah, but of all the ways to not slobber on them, to act like, oh, well, coincidentally, I guess I guess I saw you. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, I'm just saying it was odd to me that it was their first tour. Like, I didn't know I had seen them because they are, they're, an awesome band. I love their music, and that was the first time that I'd ever seen them live. I didn't know that was the first time that they were playing live. All right, no, that's that's awesome. So you guys have been together for how long now? I guess eight years. Eight years. And uh, uh, oh, but, oh, real quick, I just got this in uh, on Twitter. I uh, got two things. Uh, NSFW show. I uh, love having good internet. Schwood walked. My mom walked in, shook her head, and walked back out. Thanks to Justin Roberts Young. So you did that, Justin. <laughs> FYI. And then also, some people are very excited on Twitter that they just saw Kyle Gass's nipples on uh, on an SFW show. So we're already making waves. See, the publicity machine is already hey, rocking, what? sir. Okay. What happened to the face paint guy? Uh, you know what? I closed the window because I was terribly afraid that it was going to play an ad randomly. That's one thing that Ustream does is it will randomly just start playing an ad in the middle of it. So uh, to make sure that didn't happen during the show, I closed his his window. But I'm sure he'll send in a picture right now. He'll post it in the chat room, and we'll get a photo of his final version. Look at that. Look at that. No sooner do I say it than it's already there. It's like having a genie, a retarded, retarded genie. At our disposal at any time. Uh, there we go. Look at that. There, you go. there he is. Good job, Justin. So, uh, what do you guys? What do you guys? Uh, first, well, no, the, the the new album is is the reckoning, right? That's the new the new record that you guys are touring behind. Yes, it is yes. the reckoning. Reckoning. And now, uh, when when did you guys record that? Uh, late last year. Just released it in March of this year. Did awesome. It, uh, is, is it available? The, the little thing you may not know about the internet is they're not so good about leaving the house and going to an actual place where they could buy physical media. Is it available for like digital download on Amazon or anything like that? Yeah, that's the good news. We are not available in stores. We are only available on the internet. <laughs> well, hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. And so where, where can people go to get the album? Trainwreckwithkg.com. You can go to our merch store and get it there. Awesome. All right. Well, I tell you what, let's do this. We'll get a subscription bomb. We'll get a bunch of money for you right now. I'm going to do train wreckwithkg.com. Everybody yep. in the chat room, head on over and uh, give them all of your money. Mm -hmm. Buy three or five or 12 copies of the album. Give it to all your friends. And meanwhile, let's get back to making these guys bigger rock stars than they deserve to be. Sure, Go. sure, sure. And, and, now, and, and what I mean by that is that you deserve a million times more than, than <laughs> whatever we could give you, but our goal is to overshoot that. It's like, you know, you deserve to be gods, so we're going to make you gods among gods. It's what we're trying to do. Not working out so hot. Justin? <laughs> uh, well, I think, uh, do we have, we have one more in there that I, I left Yeah, one, for one you? more that you spooned. I got one more of the spoon feed. <laughs> oh, <Yes>. my God. <laughs> well, listen here, guys. Let, let me pitch this one here to you. Uh, obviously, you want, to, uh, you want to expand markets. You know, we've already, we've already visited a bit of the undead thing. But what are your feelings on magical realms? Gentlemen, magical yeah. realms? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, open to it, right? All you know, right, possible oh. possibility. There we go. All right, uh, Brian, hit him with it. Well, well we were thinking, me, you know, you if you want to go beyond Earth, you could always hit up. <laughs> you could always hit up Middle Earth. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Take things to the next level here. Let me get a closer capture of this because this is what's great. I love. <laughs> I love the fact that they take things to the, oh sec to the next That's realm. Because not only do we have all of the members of Trainwreck, but yeah, you can you see that over. Li yeah. little footnotes in the back. <laughs> you, can see, you can see Justin and I. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> and, okay, and, no, no, don't worry. We'll, we'll give you guys all these. Because there's like, uh, of all the ones that we'll show you, there are like 15 or 20 more. Who is, that, uh, who is this? On the side over here. That's, that's, that's it's boy Johnny. Oh my God, it is boy Johnny, but he's not. I like the fact that. Oh, that's awesome, dude. All right, so let's. And uh, <laughs> it says here, train wreck with Kyle Gas. And what I love the most is the is the. Uh, and I got to position this. I'm sorry, I got to make it small in order to show it to you. But you can see that the actual the axe turns into a sword right there at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> man, that's 
Oh, beautiful. Nice. So, Trainwreck comes to Middle Earth. Gentlemen, Trainwreck comes to Middle Earth. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you say? Oh, that's a no-brainer. All right, that's a no-brainer. Okay, so we got you guys. We got you guys dead. We got you guys off Earth. We got you uh, molesting the Blarney Stone. Um, I don't know what else is left. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, listen, you know, we've been shooting off pie in the sky kind of scenarios, but the fact is you guys are really going to be touring around the Northeast and Midwest starting this September. So we need to start hitting you guys up with real material you can use for those kinds of cities. So, Brian, I've just put one in there. Here's something that maybe we can, we can pitch to you. You know, listen, people can play New York. They can play Boston. But why not? Play a little town right there in, in the middle. Hartford. Hartford, right? <laughs> There's people there. Why play New York or Boston? There's a town that's equidistant and inconvenient. It's Hartford now with an airport. Airport is in quotation marks. <laughs> Explore the beauty of the I-84 corridor and the I-91 <laughs> I corridor. And uh, KG and Trainwreck can rock Hartford. What do you say, gentlemen? Hartford, it's a city. <laughs> yeah, we, we tend to do uh, better in secondary markets. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I think third or fourth dairy markets would uh, would work as well. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> That's, That's, you said, did you say third or fourth a dairy? Is <laughs> it a fourth a dairy market? <laughs> fourth a dairy. Uh, awesome. What's up, Justin? Now, now here's here's another one that I'm gonna holster up for for you, Brian. Now, uh, uh, Kyle, obviously, uh, today's just the huge, massive success. Uh, you know, uh, you, you, you have a, a celebrity that really You're helps. Absolutely right. That hasn't happened for train wreck yet. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I believe it is, but I believe, right I, I believe that your, your single celebrity, you know, maybe we should start to break out some of the other guys in the band and kind of give them their own sort of, uh, their own sort of spotlight. No, so that's here, true. Uh, okay. That's true. We're just saying we're just saying we got to spread the love around because make it clear it's a team, you know, because a lot of people think, oh, well, that's KG and, and other guys. Let's let's up the presence of the other guys with photos like this one. <laughs> there you go. Nate. <laughs> Welcome to your new makeover. Right? Uh... Now, this one, you could vote as a band or maybe Nate could go straight for it himself. But I don't know. I feel like I like the way the fact the rest of the band is instant in their support. <laughs> For Equus Nate. Correct <laughs> <laughs> the mundo. There we go. We got we got a thumbs up from everybody here. All right. Well, I tell you what. Why don't we? While you're setting that up, why don't we do something that we don't usually get to do? Uh, we, long time chat rumors know the secret number that we never actually give out in public, but strangely everybody knows. If somebody calls that secret number and they have a, a legitimate question for. Uh, for train wreck, I'll be happy to put them on the air. Uh, the chat room, they know the number they're about to. They, they're saying that horse is a slut, and that's the only reason you're able to get <laughs> laid, Nate. How does that make you feel, sir? Uh, all right, uh, just unless you got one more for us, Justin. No, no, no. I got, I got, I got some more here for you, and this one will probably uh, ensure that we never get a sponsor. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. By the way, of all the episodes for us to not happen to have a <laughs> what is what is. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> this is um. I'm gonna let you set this one up, sir. All right. Now, uh, you know, you're gonna be out in the Northeast, and a lot of I don't know if you guys have picked up on this. A lot of new venue opportunities are casinos, as gambling kind of becomes legal in places where it hadn't before. One of the bigger ones is uh, is, is the Mohegan Sun. So, Brian, if you can please pop up the art here. All right. Now, let me explain that. First of all, the the genius. If uh, is is not so much in the venue. I mean, uh, certainly a lot of big bands play the Mohegan Sun. To me, the genius is the uh, the <laughs> yes, buy three whores and the fourth is free. And of that course, we can uh, promise here. And of course, the tagline "stuff be crazy" in uh, Uncaville. <laughs> That's not exactly stuff there. Would, would you guys would you guys work uh, the Mohegan Sun if they did a special offer of three whores and the fourth is free? Hmm. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> no, we're split. We're split here. Yeah, no, they're not feeling it. Not oh, feeling it. Sure. You can take your horse, Mohegan yeah. Sun. Stuff it. All right, we so got here we go. I'll tell you what. Anybody who had bulk whores being a draw for train wreck, cross that off. Because that's not true. <laughs> take that right you, off their Wikipedia page. You were mistaken. It's not true. Bad news. Bad news, sir. Uh, by the way, we got people calling on the Skype line. You can't call on the Skype line because that's what, of course, what uh, what Trainwreck is calling on. On, but we do have somebody calling on the secret phone line. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? 
Hey guys, uh, just a quick question. Um, what's the worst gig you've ever had? Oh, that's a great question. The worst gig we've the, ever had? Oh, yeah, the man. worst well, gig. That's, that's pretty easy. Yeah. We opened for X, the punk rock band, at the yes. House of Blues in Anaheim, and we got pelted with, I don't know, maybe two dozen beer, and they ended up kicking out like 10 people because they were physically accosting us. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, I'm not going to lie. I've uh, I've I've been there. I've had fruit thrown at my stage. Uh, for the you guys don't know, my day job is obviously not broadcasting, as is given by the lack of talent here. But uh, but uh, my day job is to tour around doing a bizarre magic show where I stick nails in my eyes and eat fire. And uh, I I was in West Virginia, and they did not like my show. Everything went right, but like they did not find it amusing at all. So I actually had fruit thrown at my stage, and I was like, I didn't know anyone did that for real. But that. <laughs> That's, yeah. That stuck with me and messed yeah, me up for a while. Yeah, we're a show. Yeah. Where do you put your nails? In, Hello? In, in my eyes. Uh, the nails go in the eye. Hey, caller, you're on the air with Trainwreck. What's going on? Hi, I live in New Haven, Connecticut, which is um, a much better place to have popper than Hartford. Hartford is Connecticut's, like, their biggest ghetto. All right, now there's even like the second, but there's more cool people there. They already said yes to Hartford. Can you pencil in New Haven, or is New Haven? <laughs> I won't to go to Hartford if you come, but. New Haven's so much cooler. We actually, uh, we actually Even played New Haven. I think if you check our tour history on our website, we yeah. played New Haven about seven years ago. Yeah, why and where you were there? you then, miss? Yeah, what's up? You were too good seven years ago for Trainwreck? Only now that they're giant I'm rock gods, you come up? Oh, you were underage then, okay. Yeah, all right, well, you know what? That I'm may be a plus child. for these fellows. All right, take care. Right, come, to Foxborough. Well. come to Foxborough. The, 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 thing, the thing I love the most about that call was like, you know, we've had photoshops, publicity stunts. We've had Kyle Gass take off his shirt and show off his nipples and almost come close to showing off his shaft and making Brian turn off the live stream. And the one thing that you wanted to call in about was Hartford sucks. <laughs> New Haven better. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's how they roll. Hey. All right, uh, look, let's do a couple more. Let's do a couple more and let these guys go because they got important rocking that they have to do. They're, you guys, uh, we, we didn't talk about anything in advance, but but radio stations always ask for like a live performance or anything like that. You didn't, you weren't prepared for anything like that, were you? We could do yeah. something if you think you'd be able to hear it through our little laptop. Are you like, kidding? Yes. Are yes. you kidding? God, yes. Yes, one million percent yes. Watch this. Internet, would you like to see Trainwreck rock for you personally live? And then uh, they, you got to wait for the uh, you got to wait for the delay as they get the question, and oh, then all of a sudden, yeah. all at once, oh, there we yeah. go. Whoa! Oh, yeah. So yeah. apparently, apparently, there's a bit of enthusiasm. Oh, I see. And KG is going to put on a shirt for this rock. Yeah. Is that is that how it goes? <laughs> Freaking awesome, Justin. Justin. Oh my God, dude! And they're like ready in a moment's notice. If you were just listening to this, you don't uh, you don't see they have like everything just out of arms arms reach. This is fantastic. KG is now putting his shirt over his head, much like E.T. in the start of the fight. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like, never in my dreams did I think that they would actually have music, uh, like, m instruments ready to go. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. The episode. That's right. Well, that's mainly us they're, they're harping on. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yeah. We are this, one. This goes out. This, is, this goes out to you guys. We've got so much fun. That's right. Yes. You guys ready to party? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Ah. We got tears. We got tears. We should do the crowd.
Justin, uh, real quick, we got to do the plugs and wrap things up here because absolutely, is... uh, everybody, everybody, everybody. If you were watching this live, you were listening to this at any point in history, you would need to follow on Twitter, even if Twitter has failed a hundred years in the future. Follow Train Wreck Rock on Twitter, please. Make sure these guys blow up. This is the coolest thing ever. Uh, and uh, trainwreckwithkg.com is their website. Make sure you check out their tour dates. They go on the road this fall. Check them the hell out, KG and yeah. Trainwreck. Oh my Holy God! Yeah. Even more important. Rule. Even more important. Put money in their pockets this very minute by going to trainwreckwithkg.com and buy their album. That's exactly what I'm going to do after I put my shirt on. But until then, that is it for this episode of NSFW, the new show full of win. Make sure to follow me at Schwood on the Twitter, and make sure to follow. Justin Robert Young. Justin R. Young. Justin R. Young. See you next Tuesday, kids. Dude. Oh my God. Freaking train wreck. It's unbelievable. Awesome. 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 I'm Rad Bromance. That's got to be the name of this episode. Justin and Brian. Justin and Brian. Justin and Brian. Justin and Brian. Oh my God, I could die right now. You guys are the best in the entire world. Uh, get the hell off of our terrible, terrible show because you guys own the entire internet. Congratulations. We're going to sign the deed over any minute right now. Go play it. Play the, play the whole thing uh, for him. We got to put a standing <laughs> belly clap. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Thank you, gentlemen. I am the winner of this lame-ass podcast game.